Jason House is a trustee of the city of Dalton. He joins us right now, trustee, Dal trustee House, glad to have you here. Uh, first and foremost, uh, what is at the root of this dissension between the, these trustees and your mayor, Tiffany Henyard? Well, thank you very much, first and foremost, for having me. And I would say the, the root of the tension or the disagreements that we have is really just the board trying to ask for information that we are not receiving. And, um, and we're getting a lot of complaints from the community, the residents, the business community, and many things that um, the mayor will and will verbally tell you is being done. It's just not happening. Uh, like, so what? It's unfortunate. like what? Like uh, what? For example, the bills that we're talking about, we have not gotten a financial report since September of 2023. So okay. we're really talking four or five months. That has not been given. Here's, here's, uh, here's, 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 here's where I'm confused. Because again, I've covered yeah. city council, I've covered county government, okay? Uh, and that is, if you have city staff, and if the board of trustee votes for something, how are you not getting it from city staff? Who, who is controlling that? Uh, all the staff report directly to the mayor's office. And it's been documented by many former employees, and the village has many lawsuits pending right now because these because if you do not follow the mayor's directive, then you will be disciplined. You'll be either yelled at, terminated, and the, and that discipline extends to if you provide documentation to the board. No, 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 um, no, 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 no here, here's what I mean, here's what I mean. If, yes. if, the, if the trustees, if, look, majority rules, if the trustees vote, I mean, you just voted on a resolution for the FBI to come in. If the trustees, if the trustees vote ordering uh, the city auditor or the city treasurer or the city finance director uh, to turn over a financial report by a certain date, then that person is obligated to do so because the, the board has voted. So are you saying that has that been done and have, and have those individuals defied the board of trustees? Absolutely. That has been done, and they, do, and the, the, they are defying the board of trustees, and they're doing so at the mayor's instruction. I, the employees are, I believe they're, all, they're good employees, and they want to do their job, and their job is uh, the mayor is instructing them do not, do not comply, and that's forcing them to violate the ordinance and the wishes of the board. What do you say when Mayor Henry says, y'all have taken her to court and she's won every time? There, that's been an exaggeration. There have not been 24 cases. One, the primary case that she referenced, uh, talking about failure to provide documentation to the board, is still pending in court. That is going back into court uh, early March. So, and that, then so, it'll be so, first so that's one case. How many times has the ha, ha, how many times have the trustees taken the mayor to court? We have about five cases. Three are ongoing. Two of them, to my knowledge, two of them, she was successful. Okay. So the trustees have sued her on five separate occasions. You see how he's giving Jason pushback and making him answer questions, um, and he he has follow up questions for Jason. Why didn't you have follow up questions for Tiffany? I I just don't understand that. You you're you know, this is how an interview. If you're not understanding, this is how it's supposed to work. But why didn't you do that with Tiffany? Correct. Okay. Um, and um, when she says that the collective bargaining agreement states that uh, security detail, that is a part of that, uh, I take it you've seen that CBA? Uh, I have seen the CBA. Uh, what, what does a, it say? The CBA does allow for a mayor to have uh, reasonable security and does not allow for overtime to, ex to exhaust the, the village's budget. It does not allow for the uses that are being done. So, 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 so when you say, hold on one second. So when you say reasonable, does the CBA stipulate that the mayor is to have two security officers, three, four, five, or is it there, un or is it undefined? Uh, I did not see a definition. However, it does stipulate that overtime hours cannot be utilized, which is what's happening in this case. Okay, so if the CBA states that, uh, so again, I just want to be correct. You're saying that the CBA states that uh, the, uh, the police officers uh, who are on the mayor's detail cannot accrue overtime. Y'all are saying that is happening. That is absolutely happening. And if I may take that a step further, um, the, the core of the issue that the, that the board has, or the, the board majority, is that the village cannot afford this, this luxury that is going on right now. In previous years, our village has never had over $600,000 worth of overtime. And this past year, we had $1.6 million of overtime. And that, so and, and that, that, and that hold up, that $1.6 million overtime, was that solely for police? Yes. The primary cause of that overtime was because of the police, because of the security detail, and those officers are traveling outside of the village of Dalton. That's not acceptable. And have y'all received that breakdown of those overtime hours? So when you say the 1.6 million, you're saying that is that that, that 1.6 million, all of it or most of it, is tied to her security detail. 
uh, most of it is tied to the security detail. Uh, as mentioned, we do not get the exact documentation that we asked for. However, when I can, I can look at the trends, and when I look at the trends from 2017 all the way to 2022, we never exceeded $600,000 of, of overtime. So, no. In, go, yes, ahead, no go, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah no, in this, previous, in this past year, $1.6 million spent in overtime. Uh, following the trends, following the analysis and the logic, uh, the million dollars, had the only, the only change in the department has been the security detail. That's it. So no additional police officers, no increase in the police force? Correct. Uh, no additional. We, every year we put, just as we did this year, we add 10 additional officers into the budget because we know the importance of officers being on the street. We know the importance of trying to make sure we don't wear these officers out. And I think you um, correctly mentioned the former police chief's uh, statements because he was in the prime position to identify what's going on. So, I mean, even from his mouth, it's identified that their manpower was stretched. The village really is, at, is really having uh, difficulties, and those officers work very, very hard. And it becomes even more critical when you when you're down manpower because the officers are, the security details being used in ways that it shouldn't. The mayor said that the reason Dalton has a deficit is because the trustees are not paying their bills. How do you, what do you say? Uh, that is completely uh, false. Um, so, so, because, so, so when yeah. she says the trustees go through and pull out certain bills they do not pay, uh, she said she said that the money's there to pay the city's bills, but you, the trustees, are not paying the bills. Uh, and that is completely false. We um, the, the money, and at every meeting we ask, is the money there? And the response will be yes. After the meeting is over with, I have more than 15 emails from vendors who will call me, vendors that have been approved. Uh, the most recent one that made news was the police cars getting ready to be repossessed. The board approved that. May of 2023, eight months later, we get messages that we're behind on payments, haven't done it. And then to make it even worse, I forward that to the administration. It's not for political fodder. We forward that to the administration seeking payment. We're told it's taken care of. And one week later, we get a demand letter for repossession of the vehicles. So, so, Those are the types of... So, he, so here's where... Here's, I'm sorry. Here's where I, I, I'm, I'm... This is just simply where I'm confused. What is the hierarchy of the city? I get strong mayor city council. I get that. Uh, but who is the top city administrator? Uh, the village administrator is the one that should run the day-to-day -day operations of the village, and they are appointed directly by the mayor's office. Gotcha. Who is that? The village administrator's name is Keith Freeman. Okay, that's the village administrator, okay? Correct. App appointed by the mayor. This video, Mayor Tiffany Henyard political career ruined by hiring uh, Keith Freeman. Keith Freeman has a problem with paying his own bills. So why in the hell would you put him as an administrator over a town that brings in $30 million or $28 million. He can't manage his own life. He has a criminal pass of theft. This is not like, oh, he had a criminal pass because he ran a speed light or he decided to get in a fight or something like that. That, you know, Okay, you you got you got into it with somebody, your neighbor or whatever you when you was no, he has a problem with theft. So he shouldn't have any power because he's a 1099. He doesn't pay any taxes. This is what we I discussed on this video. So if you guys want to view it, it has all about Keith Freeman. But doesn't that person answer to the council. So when you're in a council meeting, and again, I, I, I just spent way too much time covering city councils. Do you not call him to the table and ask the series of questions in the council meeting? Uh, currently, no. When they first came on board, we would do that. And ultimately, Dalton has become known for the uh, the banter and the back and forth. So because as a result of that, we try prior to the meetings to send emails. We try our, our conversations. But if we try to, in our meeting, trying to call the administrator or some other staff to the to the table, we are met with resistance and over-talking directly from the mayor. Okay. And then uh, that okay. becomes but, the right. show that um, makes the village look bad. Okay, but, but, but again, what, what, I, what, what, I, what I'm trying to understand, and, and, it, and I'm coming from the perspective of somebody. Roland, why did you have this same energy from, for Tiffany Henyard? Because Jason House is really making sense right now. Um, but yeah, I could understand him saying, okay, if he answers to you, why isn't he answering to you? And then Jason House would say, well, Tiffany Henyard has her paws. These are her people that she put in place and she's controlling and they're, they're on notice. Hey, you're not supposed to do this and this and this. And actually Keith Freeman is telling 
he's directing the staff. You don't, you don't send out emails. You don't send out for your requests. We don't answer emails. We don't do this. Everything needs to go through me. If you answer it, you're on the chopping block. Okay. So I can understand that question, but the same energy. Oh, I don't understand. Especially that cares of foundation question. You're allowing that didn't make any sense. You're allowing a person to use your name and you didn't give him any pushback. Who has covered Fort Worth, Austin, Dallas, Houston, Chicago, city councils, county yes. government, state legislature, Congress. This is a town of 20,000 people. All right. Yes, sir. So this this ain't I mean, no disrespect to Dalton. This is small. And what I'm trying to under, I'm trying to understand if you have a city administrator and you got a council meeting coming up, how do the trustees not say and I'm say, OK, on the agenda, city administrator, so and so. Um, are, are, th are these bills being paid? Is this being handled? And he has to answer to that. If there are lawsuits, I've seen this happen before. Okay, they call the city the city lawyer in. And they ask them questions. So I'm, I'm not understanding why those things don't happen. So that way, the public actually gets to hear the responses of the people they're paying. So, and if I may, so thank you, and I agree with you, especially for a town of this size. Uh, but it really shouldn't be this difficult. Uh, the reality of what happens is when the board calls to a question, whether it be the administrator, the finance director, the mayor intercedes in that answer. Uh, so this is be, it's run, it's really being pushed uh, to, from the mayor's standpoint because she wants to control the narrative. She does not allow those individuals. She instructs them, do not answer the question. I'm going to answer this. You got your answer. Uh, she'll over talk and bang the gavel to try to really make sure that the, the discussion that should happen in rational communities does not occur. And I think, and, and many people watching tune in, we have a board meeting, our council meetings, are watched by 15, 20,000 people. A town of our size should never have that. I mean, most board meetings should be to the point, but they, but people have picked up on and recognized that unfortunately, uh, the mayor's office really tries to dominate the meeting, really goes in and insults board members, insults uh, seniors, insults the clerk's office, uh, and, and it, it's become a sideshow that's really made us look bad. So when is the next city council meeting? Uh, it is next Monday, I believe that's March 4th. Okay, next city council meeting. Roland, you're you're asking stuff that's on the Village of Dalton um, YouTube page. You're asking questions that's in the news media. You know the questions that we already know because we've done our research. Since we've been following the story, I mean, we've done our research, so we already know the questions uh, or the answers to the questions that you're asking. Um, for you to not do any research on the topic, I'm assuming Roland was like, oh, it's a small town. It's beneath me. Maybe I'm, I'm not for sure, but you talked to the lady damn near 40 minutes and you didn't ask her any of these questions. You gave Jason House some pushback, even with the budget. Roland Martin asked this question. Well, they don't have access to the information, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and Tiffany responds. Oh, they have access to the information. We put it on, I put it on my uh, TikTok channel. I put it on our website. Well, okay, let's go to your website. Where is it? I would have did that. I would have called her out. Okay, let, let walk me through so I can see where this budget is located at. So it's like you didn't do any of the research. Um, and you have had these people on and you didn't give them any pushback, but you gave, you decided to give Jason house the pushback and he was actually asked answering all the tough questions that you should have asked Tiffany, but you didn't anywho, anywho, you guys, um, I'm not going to be the dead horse. The, these people are crazy to, to me. It doesn't really make any sense.